You know, you've heard the scriptural reference or phrase that many are called but few are chosen. Well, we know the inner meaning of that phrase because God is not an exclusionist. God does not have the spirit of abandonment. So there are own, so it's not that a few are chosen, they're just, just a few who actually choose. Everyone is chosen, but few actually choose to go down that path. In other words, choice is a skill. And choice comes from a function of awareness. We must have an awareness of the presence of God. We have an awareness of these infinite opportunities. We have to have an awareness of this expanded awareness in order to choose. That is the skill that we are developing by entering into this sacred center, into study, into fellowship, and service, and prayer, and meditation. And I believe that our job is to do what we can do to get in tune with this pull that will assist us in hearing and answering the call. So we need not look outside of ourselves for this answer. The answer is already within us. We just need to release it. As it said in that scriptural reference or in the readings of today, it's already done. You see, we have to release the inner splendor, that potential within us. And our strategies to do this is to engage in that silence, in that meditation, and cease false judgment and commune with the presence of God, commune with nature. I was just, annoyed, just noticing this morning how magnificent <laughs> the weather is today in Chicago. Much better than it is in February. <laughs> and we can also add forgiveness to that. It's one of the most important things we can engage in, which means that we no longer carry the baggage of an experience of the past. It's gone. It's let go and release it. <laughs> 